Hello everyone, what is the correct answer to the following expression? 6 divided by 3 and in parentheses we have 1 plus 3. So what do you think about this problem? Right here you have a lot of options, A, B, C, so right now I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself real quick, I swear it will be really interesting. Ok, the expression can be simplified by the order of operation often remembered by the acronyms PMDMC or BODMAS order. So I have this order right here and let's look to this order. So first we need to evaluate brackets and parentheses. So in both cases we need to evaluate parentheses and brackets. Then evaluate orders and exponents, then evaluate multiplication and division right here and the last addition and subtraction, doesn't matter, this is the last step. Ok, so everyone is in agreement about the first step, simplify the addition inside the parentheses, yeah? So the first step are the same, so we don't make a mistake when we do this step in our parentheses. So we will have like 6 dividing by 3 and times 1 plus 3 equal to 4, so this is absolutely correct first step. As I said before, brackets and parentheses, this is like a start for both most popular method of order of operations. Ok, and there is where debate starts, because for example you solved before like uh, 30 seconds ago, you solved it and you say ok, the answer is 8, yeah, for those who think it is 8. If you type this expression into a calculator, the input has to be parsed and, compu and then computed, so most calculators win will convert the parentheses into an implied multiplication. So we get this expression and according to the order of operation, division and multiplication have the same precedence, yeah? So the correct order is to evaluate from left to right, so from left to right. And first take 6 dividing by 3 equal to, equal to 2 and then multiply by 4, so the last number, and as a result 2 times 4 equal to 8. Ok, and it looks like our answer. But I want to show you a really interesting second approach. So this gets to the correct answer of 8. But some people have a different interpretation and while it's not the correct answer today, it would have been regarded as the correct answer 100 years ago. So some people may have learned this other interpretation more recently too, but this is not the way, the way calculators would evaluate the expression today. So for those who think that the answer is one half, because it looks like that, if we do in a little bit different order. So suppose it was like 1917 and you saw this expression, so 6 divided by 3, 1 plus 3, or this one, so this is the same, 6 divided by 3, so here, and you saw this expression, so 6 divided by 3 and times 4 in a textbook. What do you think about the art author was trying to write? Historically, this symbol division was used, uh, was used to, to mean you should divide by the entire product on the right of the thimble. So in the 1917 you need to divide by all entire product. So we need to take these in parentheses 3 times 4 and this is equal to 6 dividing by 3 times 4 equal to 12. So as a result we will have like one half and it was in answer in 1917 year. So from this stage the rest of calculation works by the order of operation. First to evaluate the uh, multiplication and inside the parentheses and then this division. This gives us this result one half. This is not a correct answer. Nowadays this is not absolutely correct answer because calculators works in another way. So our, uh, our solution is option, option B. This is our answer and we can write it right here. This is our this is our answer, option B. So 8, option, option B. This order of operation, forget to do this one because this is like 100 years ago and this is absolutely incorrect. If you still have any question, if you have a really interesting information about this approach, maybe you have a really interesting question, it will be really interesting to read about it. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos. Have a great day.